Hi, in this video, I will show you how I combine melt and pour and hot process soap making. Enjoy watching! Hi, my name is Pete and I am the owner of Terra Essential Soap Shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my orange creamsicle melt and pour soap. I will be using clear melt and pour olive oil based soap. As you can see, I am slowly trying to cut them into cubes. After cutting the soap base into cubes, I melted them in microwave. While waiting for the soap base to cool down, I will be preparing my color. I will be using orange mica powder. With melt and pour soap, it is advisable to dilute the vegetable powders or the soap colorants with alcohol. Now I will check the temperature of the soap base. If it's too hot, I will have it to cool down. If not, the grated soaps will melt. Now it's time to pour the grated soaps. I normally spray a lot of alcohol just making sure they're all wet and soft. Alcohol just melts anyway and it is antibacterial. The grated soaps are actually made using the hot process method. It is also purely olive oil soaps. So uh, this is a combination of melt and pour and hot process soap. It is important to always spray alcohol in between to avoid air bubbles. Now that the soap base has cooled down, it is time to mix the soap colorant or the mica powder. and blend well. Slowly pour the solution into the mold. Don't forget to tap the soap mold, making sure that all the liquid has gone down. to cut and see how it turned out. Oh, this smells so good and it turned out lovely. Your skin will be so happy using this. If you're in Canada, I have a store called Terra Essential Soap Shop. It's at 308 Lakeshore Road, East Mississauga, Ontario. 